So in this good wheel, you can see that there's a lot of people in here and I think we find the secret to actually walking out with a ton of profitable items in the Goodwill. Ooh, what did you find? I don't know. I found some Crocs. People say, yeah, people say that Crocs are, are they supposed to have the, uh, the four wheel drive? No four wheel drive setting here, but flamingos no, could be good. There's a forty dollars. Dang, pre-owned? Yeah. Holy crap. We'll take it. Heck yeah. Crocs are probably like only three bucks there. People say Crocs have been on point lately. Alright, so all shoes at our Goodwill are going to be seven dollars. I'm also at the very top left hand corner. Going to be running a daily total of profit. That profit is after fees. I'm going to take 20% for fees. As you can tell right there, we have a ton of stuff in our cart. So let's go ahead and get back to shopping. All right, I'm going to probably annoy Kayla. I forgot my cell phone and uh, these are some pretty nice looking Kohans, but I'm definitely still going to look them up. So we're going to go find her and annoy her for her cell phone about 7 million times today. Dude, these are see-through Converse's. Never have I ever seen that before. They look a little nasty, but I bet you I can clean these things up. We'll have to look at these sole comps on this thing and see what they go for. This, these, they go for like 30 bucks. But look, you don't have to clean them. Like a little bit of thing there. And they're like, these though, a lot of cleaning involved in those. Right? Mm -hmm. So, we'll put these back. So there's the difference, clean time. Cleaning, no cleaning, same price. Oh wow, look at these guys. Allen Edmonds, some Allen Edmonds again are not that good. These are called Westchester. Definitely look these up, they're in good condition. Not a lot of heel drag. Heel drag is the worst thing on these usually. They look pretty good. Have to again use Kayla's cell phone. And even these can be pretty good. These are SAS slip ons. Pretty good. These are Gravity, De Gravity Defy boat shoes. Never seen these before. I know the brand though. Definitely gonna look these up. Look at that. Dude, these are Nike boots. Hit after hit here. They look brand new. I'm in the bottoms. Got original Clarks here. In good condition. I think the shoe cart just came out. It's pretty nasty looking, but we'll give it a look. Six and a half. Hmm. All right, so Kayla just found the LL Bean. These are always a good pickup. Um, they usually go for 20 bucks easy. No cleaning on those. So Kayla finds this really cool heavy duty Mandarina duck hipster crossbody bag. Super well built. We're thinking we can get about $45 for it. <laughs> All right, Kayla also finds this really cool. It's like a picnic bag. That's what they're calling it. And it is brand new here. It goes for $25 brand new. So that's not bad. I think they only charge us $1.99 for that. One point for $25. One bid. Brand new though. One point for $29. Yeah, that's not bad. Ooh, okay. We were just talking about Sperry's, but Sperry's gold cups, usually these things go brand new for like over a hundred bucks. These are in super good condition. Um, so I'll take the chance on these for seven bucks now for shoes here, but there's no cleaning involved here. Just list them and wait till they sell in the summertime. But that's a good pickup for seven bucks. Looney Tunes vibes are nice. I think we're going to, I think we're going to hit like an hour long in this, um, Goodwill. I think it's going to be well worth an hour stay here. They keep bringing out all types of crazy stuff. So they just brought this out, but this is a hundred percent a good pickup. Full zip with the hood. I think there's only like four bucks here. So that's not too bad. Hold the North face. Sometimes there's stuff hidden in these. Oh, look at that. I didn't know Yeti made clothing. Small, bad size, but definitely cool looking. It's got pockets. I have to look this one up. I never found a Yeti shirt before. 
so we might have just found a little secret here at the goodwill we stayed for about an hour in there we usually only stay for like 10 to 20 minutes and look at all this stuff that we got i think we got eight pairs of shoes uh you found two t-shirts we found some super expensive um purses which we'll go over here in a little bit some hats some clothing items up there so definitely some really awesome stuff that we'll go over and see how much profit we make all right so the other day we found these three gold rings at a yard sale actually you found them so and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into darden jewelers everybody told us to find a jeweler we'll see if they're gonna let us film in here i doubt it um but then we'll go from there to see if they don't let us film you'll we'll let you know exactly how this goes all right, so we just came back from Darden Jewelers, which is right down the street from our house. And he wouldn't do like a written appraisal, but he said he would definitely tell us exactly how much these things are worth for scrap and if we clean them and sell them online. And basically he said the heart one right there, it's hard to, it's not really focusing. He said scrap gold was about 25 bucks, but the uh, if you would to clean it and then sell it, there is a crack in it on the underside, which we couldn't see, which he said probably after you clean it and sell it, you know, online probably about 70 bucks the big diamond right there said the scrap is about i don't know if he gave us a scrap price on that one uh but he did show us how to make sure it was a real diamond which was pretty cool he looked at it through a microscope which was pretty cool so we he showed us it has actually a crack right through the middle of it but he still said in that condition and the gold resale on this one would be like close to 400 bucks which would be pretty easy to get he said and then this one which is really hard to see he said the scrap on this one was 170 but the resale on it was actually pretty good because these diamonds are called single cut diamonds and this is a super old ring like this has probably been in a family for like 100 years basically or even more than that because he showed us the difference between a single cut and now like a newer cut diamond and under a microscope you can see it pretty plain as day by the octagon shape of it but if you're just looking at it it's very hard to, to see that but he said this one right here easy again 400 bucks so you got 400 470 right there so it's 870 dollars and kayla picked these up for what 20 bucks 25 dollars mm -hmm. so that is a heck of a score are we going to resell them honestly we're probably going to put them in the safe and keep our gold for a while so we're going to keep them but it's good to know he said come in anytime he doesn't charge so we can go in there and talk to him about anything that we have thank He'll you ruben thank you ruben ruben was the guy we talked to he was very knowledgeable very nice and uh didn't make us feel like that we were idiots which is always a good thing when it comes to a jewelry store and y'all were exactly right basically we found a jeweler that is knowledgeable nice and is going to give us a ton of information and so that's really really good they buy gold here for scrap but these right here i probably wouldn't scrap just because they actually have you know are worth some more stuff just because of the diamonds in them and the way they look and that one he said it'd be like from the 1900s like he said that one's old old so very cool stuff we're glad we listened to y'all's comments and went to a jewelry store all right so that is not bad for one goodwill i think the secret that we that we employed today that actually worked was definitely staying there longer i don't know about y'all if you want to tell me down below how long you usually stay in a goodwill i think that's always interesting i like to know people's routes in a goodwill like where do you go first where do you go last and how how long you actually stay in one we usually kayla stays a little bit longer she'll stay 20 minutes me i'm in and out in 10 minutes if that i know exactly what i'm looking for golf clubs shoes shirts and then boom i'm gone uh some electronics but in this one we kind of were noticing that it was actually like a couple days before thanksgiving and we were noticing that they kept bringing out some pretty decent clothing racks some pretty good shoes and i was like let's stick around and see how long this will last I, we could have stayed another hour but it kind of fizzled out there the carts weren't coming out as fast and we we're like let's go ahead and you know call it a day but i think we made like over 280 some dollars 287 i think uh give or take a couple bucks i think that's really good remember that was after fees and cost of goods so in one goodwill you're talking over 280 bucks in one visit for one hour the shoes that we picked up as you noticed were very clean very little cleaning will have to go involved we left behind a whole bunch that were still good they just needed a lot more cleaning and to be honest with you i tell you this all the time we don't i just don't like cleaning shoes so i will pick them up if they are clean but if they're not clean i leave them behind now let's talk about some stickers Alrighty, thank you so much samantha she sent us this really cool rcv performance sticker we're gonna go ahead and put that on the uh toolbox and again if you didn't know about the little thing that i do about the stickers 
If you send me a sticker, I send you one back. Thank you so much for Julie. You said you actually are the CEO out there of the chamber. You sent this this really cool sticker. You said you didn't want a sticker back, but I still might send you one. So thank you so much. Also, you all have sent me the Sinclair oil sticker, I'm pretty sure. Michael and Courtney, thank you so much. You said that your husband is a TikToker. They call me the Duke, I think is his TikTok handle. And uh, you got this sticker, really, really awesome. Intermittent flips. Thank you so much, Mike and Chelsea. What an awesome sticker. And I like how you sent it in this protective case. That is the a first for me, and I like it. And uh, thank you so much. And the sticker is heading your way. I do appreciate everybody that's been watching. Thank you so much. If you haven't, give me a like, give me a comment. It really does help the channel out. If you didn't know, we have a new channel out there called Flip Squad. It's Kayla and I, mostly what sold, pulling from our storage unit. We're gonna do tips and tricks. We're also gonna go live there next year. So a lot of cool things happening. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers over there before the new year. I think we're like 550 right now. So if you don't know, the link is down in the comments. I've been pinning that link in the comments. So look for the very first comment down below. And if you hit the link, it should take you right to Flip Squad. I know a lot of people have been saying it's hard to find. Hopefully I did that right and hopefully it's down Below. I do appreciate everybody that watches, and you know I will always get you on the next one.